Kostner here at the Miss Universe Australia 2014 finals at Sofitel in Melbourne on Collins Street. So tonight there's 31 girls from all around Australia competing for the prestigious title of Miss Universe Australia 2014. girls backstage as well as to all the guests and VIPs who will be here tonight for this prestigious event. We have 31 of Australia's most beautiful women competing for the title of Miss Universe Australia 2014. Who will it be this year? What are the judges looking for? We're going to find out soon. So here I am with Ben from The Voice. Ben, what are you going to be doing tonight? Uh, I'm going to be singing a few numbers, uh, some when the girls are on stage and some by myself. And you're not judging, are you? No, I'm not judging. No, thank God. I think that's a pretty tough job tonight. So I'm just singing and having a good time. So you would really understand competition then. And uh, how do you deal with nerves before you go and perform on stage? Um, I just think uh, knowing what, you, what you're about to do and uh, just being confident in what you're doing and um, just kind of uh, approaching it from the way that you're just having a good time with it. And it's, you know, if it's what you want to do, then just yeah, uh, enjoy the moment. Deborah, you look amazing. I know, I'm very excited. Yes, you must be. So as the director of Miss Universe Australia, tell us, you've done so well internationally. What is it that the Australians are looking for with their girl? Okay, so what we're looking for is someone who's going to win the international pageant this year. So we're very aggressive yeah. and tonight we really want to pick a winner. Okay, and what's the Australian secret? What is it about the Australian girl that has an edge over the other girls internationally? I, I think they're fresher, they've got something that's fresh yeah. and they've got something that's um, new and something unique. So I think they do stand out and they're more relaxed, they're not yeah. trying too hard. I think that's what we've got. Great. Well, I hope we do a great job this year and I'm sure we will if you're behind it. And you look amazing tonight. Who are you wearing? I'm wearing Tony Bowles. This is actually a Belluccio dress. It weighs a metric ton, yes. and uh, they've whipped it up. Amazing! They're just, I love, I love their designs. Yeah, they do an amazing job when they're yeah. beating, don't they? they and can do. you tell us you're a judge tonight, right? I am. Yeah. Yes. So what are you looking for? What What's your angle? What are you looking for in a girl to represent well, Australia internationally? Well, I mean, I'll, I'll state the obvious. Obviously, yeah. the whole package. Yeah. We want a beautiful girl, someone who's got a certain uh, energy, who's intelligent, um, who's got a real presence about her, someone who can pull off, uh, you know, a Victoria's Secret <laughs> type of parade, so she looks sensational, she's beautiful. And you've had pre-interviews, haven't you? So you've met all the girls. I haven't you met haven't the met girls. all the girls. No. Oh, so then what's it like when you're judging them from afar? What is it about a girl that can stand out and catch your eye? Oh, look, I think it's a whole... Um, the whole vibe that yeah. comes off her, you know, you can see someone walking through and they've got a presence about them. I actually completely agree yes, with you. And so personality. And I'm here with Jason Coleman. Jason, you've been a judge for a really long time now. So what is it about the contestants that stands out or what are you really looking for, tell me? Well, we're looking for a girl that's, you know, got all the factors, but somebody that can really represent, you know, the, the whole Australia as a brand. And yeah. Needs to be a beautiful girl, needs to be a fit girl, needs to be a lovely girl, needs to be the girl that all the girls want to be, but it needs to be a, a smart girl that can talk and that can get out there. So we just had a chat upstairs about all the criteria together and I think we're going to be looking for a slightly smarter, more beautiful girl this year, so it's a real challenge. Okay, so it's not the same every year. Every year maybe a different girl brings something new to the table or is there something consistent that you actually look for in a girl year to year? Well, Deb and the girls that drive it, they're so amazing. Uh, they care about it so much and we get a slightly different brief on the different years uh, so that it evolves as a competition and uh, very importantly we represent uh, as Australia when, when we go overseas and because they take the girls overseas, they're a really great sort of lead for us going in here about what they want. Maddie, you're a judge this year, aren't you? I am. Very excited. Can you tell us what you're looking for in a girl? Yes. Well, we actually this year are looking for a winner. A girl can go up there and represent Australia. A girl next door, that's what we're looking for. Right. 
someone who's smart, pretty, and can represent our beautiful nation. Good. And you have to tell me, where is this gorgeous dress from? The dress is from Dollhouse, and my jewellery, as you can see, is from a very good friend of ours, jewellers in North Riding, Sydney. And I've spoken to Maddie before, she's such a good inspiration because she talks about inner and outer beauty and that is really important in selecting a girl, isn't it? In a pageant like this, definitely, because once the girls go overseas, they're going to be under inspection and look, they'll be looking at them for the next 30 days. So we're looking for someone who's pretty inside and outside, right. just like you. Oh, that's great. She's also a very lovely, wonderful person as well. Good luck. Thank you. Stage at the Miss Universe Australia finals where all the hair and makeup is being done for the girls. So a lot goes into the girls to make them look glamorous and stand out on stage so the team put a lot of effort into the work that they do and of course the girls put a lot of effort into carrying that across. So we're going to have a little zoom in and see all of the creativity that's going on here and the kind of looks that are being created for this year's pageant. Every year for the Miss Universe Australia finals, we have a beautiful display of Novo shoes worn by the girls. And this year I really want to bring your attention to the pair that have come into fashion for this year's competition. So, we have a gorgeous pair of beautiful pink shoes and I, I really do love pink. They're going to stand out so much. So it seems that pink is a theme this year with the robes and, and the shoes. So. I'm Rod and we're giving big, bouncy, wavy, curly hair, so all ready for the runway. Great. And what's your inspiration for the looks that we create tonight? Plenty of volume, mm -hmm. um, sexy big hair basically. Okay. Yeah. Great. And uh, can I ask you, do you take into consideration the different hair colours and hair types and everything when you're doing hair for a girl or is it all pretty generic? Um, no, everyone's different, so it depends on what tools you use, products you use and just take it from there. with another gorgeous contestant. So can you tell us your name and where you're from? So my name's Madeline and I'm representing Queensland Great. this year. Yeah. Great, and can you tell us what you've been doing in preparation for Miss Universe Australia this year? Well, it's my first ever pageant, so I was a little bit overwhelmed with all like how much you did have to prepare. But we had so much help with our sponsors, like Elucent Skin Care, they looked after all our skin, so I didn't have to do that. Didn't have to buy any shoes, because of Novo but just organising dresses and like keeping fit, eating healthy. Yeah, great. So I'm with two more contestants, Kiani and Aaliyah. So girls, can you tell us what you've been doing to prepare yourself for the Miss Universe Australia 2014 competition? Um, to prepare, I've been using a lucent skincare for my skin. So I have glowing skin when I'm on stage. Um, similar things, you know, I think we're all trying to get to the same yeah. place, so we're all preparing in similar ways. We were so lucky to be able to try so much of the Elucent Skincare range, so both the whitening and the um, anti-aging creams and, um, yeah, just trying to eat healthily and, and try and get ourselves in the mindset that, you know, that we're positive and we're, we're, we're ready for it because it is very long days and, you know, it's a big, it's a big competition. <laughs> Through to our top ten this evening from Victoria Anna McAvoy. 
The third finalist through to our top ten tonight. From Queensland, Madeline Cow. Fourth contestant through to the top ten this evening. From New South Wales, Melinda Kemp. <laughs> the fifth finalist through to the top ten tonight. From Victoria, Alex Hecker. Finalists through to the top ten this evening. From Queensland, it's Danielle Johnson. <laughs> Our seventh contestant through to the top ten tonight. From Victoria, Kiani Lee. The eighth contestant through to our top ten this evening. From New South Wales, Monica Radulovic. <laughs> our ninth contestant through to the top ten for 2014. From New South Wales, Brighton Star. And now our 10th and final contestant through to the top 10. From New South Wales, Tegan Martin. for this evening to be judged on. It is the question and answer and personality. Each of our judges have prepared a question and our five young ladies here who have made it through to the top five will choose one name, one of the judges, and they will ask their question. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to reduce our top five to find our winner tonight. So please welcome the first of our top five tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Natalie Rosa. <laughs> Natalie, your question will be asked by Gina Liano. I believe that any form 
of domestic violence is a negative thing. I think that one of the most important ways that we can actually reduce the risk of, in particular, homicides in, dom uh, in domestic relationships is by perhaps uh, in improving our education for young children and improving the environment in which they grow up in. I believe that you learn a lot from your parents and maybe that's a different approach that we can we can take to improve that situation. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Rosa. Please now welcome Danielle Johnson. Over the past decade, um, we've had uh, a big shift in the way we consume fashion. It's become quicker, easier to buy clothes, accessories. Um, what do you think that's done to the globalization of brands and shopping per se? Thanks, Danny. <laughs> I think uh, not only with the globalisation of brands and our easy access to consumer products, um, but I also think in the last decade we've got easy access to everything in the world, including each other. Um, with the globalisation of communication, we've bridged education gaps, we've br bridged geographical gaps. Um, but I do believe that everything that new technologies, including the internet, does afford us with this ease of access to consumer products and each other and communication that nothing um, can replace good old fashioned family time and one on one communication is something that will never ever go out of style. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Monica Mabilovic. Please now welcome Brian Starr. Brian, your question will be asked by Jason Coleman. Uh, uh, 
you see uh, the role of this university in Australia in many very important responsibilities and opportunities will be thrust upon you. My question to you today, Valerie, is that what would you plan to do for yourself, not what's given to you, but what would you plan to do for yourself as Miss Universe Australia if you could see the role that's going to inspire other young women? Thank you, Jason. I think personally I need to go on a very on a mental and physical journey and make sure I'm 100 percent happy with myself and with my surroundings and with what I put out there in the world because I feel this universe has so much media attention and so much attention and I know as a young girl myself I looked up to our Miss Universe ladies and I feel that really needs to be a strong role model for young women and I do feel I can be that for young women. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Stark. Please now welcome Tegan Martin. Tegan, your question is to be asked by Sunny Roth. Hi, Sunny. There always seems to be a lot of conjecture about government policy, and especially the recent budget handed down. If you could change one government policy or area of law, what would it be and why? Thank you, Sonny. Whilst I acknowledge the current government's desire to move the budget back to a surplus, I think a better overall approach would have been to make this shift more gradual. If I could choose one thing in particular, it would be to increase funding for education and reinstate the capital university fees. Because I think in the long term, increasing fees will disincentivize lower income families and students from enrolling. And this will lead to less university graduates overall. As we all know, education is the future welfare of our nation. Thank you. from Grant Thornton Accountants. All five contestants tonight will receive a place. We will start by announcing the fourth runner-up. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth runner-up in the 2014 Miss Universe Australia is Brian Starr. <laughs> Universe Australia is Danielle Johnson. Before we announce the winner, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to welcome back to the stage for her final walk as Miss Universe Australia from 2013. Please make her welcome. It's Olivia Wells.
now, if we could please ask for our final two contestants to come forward. I'll announce the winner of the 2014 Miss Universe Australia, and should she not be able to fulfil her role, then the first runner-up will take her place. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Miss Universe Australia is Tegan Martin. <laughs> Thank you.